Hello everyone. I want to take a few moments to share more information with you about our decision to move to remote learning for a two-week period beginning on Monday, November 2nd. It's important to know that our intention is for this to be a two-week reset to coincide with Adams County's move to Level 3 Safer at Home restrictions. I spoke at length on Wednesday with Dr. John Douglas of Tri-County Health and he agrees this is a smart move to protect the health of our students and our staff. Two weeks is the typical quarantine period for individuals, so this time away will provide a fresh start when we come back on November 16th. I'm excited to tell you that we also plan to expand our WPS testing program to include students, and we will share details as they become finalized. Our hope is that with this reset, expanded testing, people wearing their masks consistently, and with more people following all of the safety recommendations, COVID-19 trends in Adams County will begin moving in the right direction. These next two weeks provide a great opportunity for all of us to win the battle with this virus and return our students to the classroom, which we know is the best learning environment for most of our students. As an educator, and a grandmother with loved ones in a WPS school, I share your frustration with this pandemic and am well aware of COVID fatigue and the toll it is taking on all of us. Hang in there. We'll get through this together. I am so proud of the fact that we all pulled together to get students in the classroom back in August and know our students are better for it. So I am sure you're wondering what the next two weeks will look like. Every school has its own strategy surrounding remote learning and food distribution. And each school will send you a detailed message and try to answer your questions. Never hesitate to reach out to your school principal or your office staff to find an answer. At the district level, we plan to conduct a deep cleaning of every building and will be in constant communication with county and state health officials to monitor COVID-19 trends and will keep you updated. I hope you will do your part by fully supporting your children's at-home learning program and follow all of the safety precautions we have shared with you in the past. Remember that parents are always the best role model for children. Please reach out to your family and friends. Remind them that the education of our children and the success of our local economy is directly tied to the actions of the people who live in our community. Thanks so much for your patience and understanding as we tackle this challenge and remember to wear your mask.